Hey guys, welcome back to the bench. And today we got a test for you, a new airbrush. Um, in the background you will see the Chroma Air, which will be coming up later this week. Black 3.0, the blackest black. According to the company, we will uh, judge it. That test is coming up this week. But, I'll, but for today, we're gonna go with the, uh, the Procon Single Action SQ. It's a four millimeter nozzle and um, it's single action. It is tiny. I'll show you in a second. And we're going to be spraying four items with it. We're going to try a primer on a fuselage here of a model kit. We're going to try Mecca color from Vallejo. Metallic red. We'll go with a metallic this time. I'm going to try that over a Gundam piece right there. We're going to try Gundam Builders lacquer from Mr. Color. We'll put that over another Gundam piece, and in the end, we're going to try uh, gold titanium from All Clad. It requires you to go over black, so we have a black spoon ready to go. But right now, let's take a look at the airbrush itself. I wanted a slightly higher quality, a better higher quality for uh, basic base coats instead of using those cheap ones. Uh, I've been testing, which I do keep for uh, basic stuff, household stuff. But as far as like painting a nice kit and uh, whatnot, with all the paints I have, I, I want to. I like this brand so much, I want to try their single action, and that's what we're doing here. It's got a nice instruction booklet, just like the ones that come with my uh, my other models from them. You got the hose, the smaller hose attachment, I guess. That would be this, yep, see it? That fits on, if you're going to use the uh, spray cans, the can propellant. And actually has the adjuster for the can propellant. And that's it, it's fully uh, broken down here. I guess to adjust the air, because you're not pulling back, all you can do is turn the needle here. And then that'll adjust it while, you, while you're doing it. But you can't, uh, obviously, it's not, it's not double action. You can't adjust the flow of the paint on the fly. And yeah, this is just like my other manuals, where it just breaks down everything you need to know about it. Really good manual, even though it's this one's um, not fully translated into English. I, a couple of things I questioned on my own. I used my phone, the Google Translate, and held it up, and it, it did it for me. So this will break down everything you need to know. And let's take a look at it. I'm not going to use the hose, and I will show you the attachment we're going to put on ours now. Now that is tiny. Really nice, though. It, the aluminum finish is really nice. I guess it might seem weird. I, we might have to hold it like this. Here is our adjustment. I think this is fully off, and you can open it right up. It's got a nice protected cap. I guess that can come off, too. Yep. Don't lose that. There is our needle. Let's take a look at the nozzle. We need to have it. It's going to go on perfectly right there. All right, it's got a good, you can feel a good fit and finish of it. There you go. And it comes with the wrench to remove the nozzle. Should it ever need replacing, but probably if you take the proper care. You shouldn't have to. Just washing it would be enough. All right. It's got a nice cap for the cup. Really nice size cup. That's a real, real nice size. That's a full size cup. Let's see if it comes off. Oh, it does. All right. Check that out. Matter of fact, if you want to do something quick, I mean, imagine. Hold on, guys. I imagine you could just take some paint and just pour it right in there without even having to use the cup. You just need to do a quick spot check, spot up, uh, touch up, right there. But nice uh, rubber fitting, washer around the cup, really nice. This is this is nice too. This is really light. The whole thing is as light as could be. It's tiny as it is anyway. But uh, let's get the proper angle on this. There we go. Locks in. All right. That's basically it. Now, for me, I'm going to use the quick release. I imagine this comes off too. Yep. Uh, the quick release 
fitting. So I'm going to go with this here. This is what I use on all my uh, airbrushes. I'll put the uh, a link to the quick fitting where I get them uh, in the description below. They're worth having, really worth having. And that's it. I guess you can actually, I might have to hold it like this. I'm going to learn how to hold these things all over again. If it had the full length, I guess, you, you know, it, it would be a different story. But, ah, that's why we're here. We're going to test it. And um, it should work good. I trust this company highly. I love their stuff. So, uh, like I said, what we're going to do is that we're going to do a primer. We're going to do um, Gundam colors from Mr. Hobby lineup. We're going to do an all clad, and we're going to do this acrylic uh, mecha color. So, uh, without any delay, let's over to the booth and see how this performs. All right, guys, first up, we're going to try mecha color. Um, with this turned all the way where it stops to the right, you're going to get just air. All right, it's when you start to turn it back is when you can adjust the flow because it's single action this is all your action so let's see how I guess holding it like this like almost like a pencil isn't too bad and you gotta make sure when you paint it start off of the product and then come across because you're gonna get that blast of paint which means you're more than likely gonna get little spots It's hard to hold it where I am and show it for the camera. However, it's spraying very nice. Uh, it looks better at the bench. I'll show you when we're done, obviously, but it seems to go on really good. I wanted a, a, a four size needle. Oops, sorry, guys. I wanted a four size needle, and when I started searching, I said, you know what, let me look into this single action. It might get the job that I'm trying to look for done, you know? So, I like it. So far, I like what I'm seeing. Anyway, we'll let this dry, and we'll try uh, the next color. Wow, it's really, really good so far. All right, guys, next up will be the Gundam Colors. This is Trans Am Highlight Red. We'll put it on the uh, a Gundam piece. Fill up the cup. Uh, I'll show you how to clean it out at the end. I'll do the last one. I will show you guys at the end how to clean it. Now, let me show you one trick here is I, I usually show is how to see how it's spraying let's see see the spots when you first hit look at that that's what you want to avoid you gotta come here and come across right there we go all right let's see what we got should have picked colors that were really different but oh well You can also hold it down like a spray can and go with this. You probably it's a big cup, so you'll have enough paint is my guess. If this is the method you want to go with. even that is wow it does a really really good job quite impressed so far then you can open this thing wide open if you want ah it's enough paint let that dry you can't really see it. The lights are blinding over here. Anyway, we'll show you at the end. All right, let's go on. We'll move on to, uh, we'll do the primer. 
All right, guys, next up will be the primer. This is Mr. Finishing Surfacer 1500 Gray. We'll try it on this here bomber model. And here we go. Doesn't quite fit in the spray booth. I'll tell you that right now. It's hard to see it for showing up in the picture in the camera lens, but it's it's there and it's just about done. And it's not really blowing through paint like my other one, my five miller meter uh, airbrush. So it lays down this uh, primer really good. That's it. We'll let that dry. You'll be able to see the difference in the white. Well, you can see it there. But uh, no need to paint the whole thing. Wow. So far, this thing is performing perfect. All right? Let's do the all clad, and then we'll wrap this up. All right, guys. Final test. Let's see how it does with some all clad. Gold titanium over black. All right. Might not get this one really... Really fine. Let's see what we got here. It's hard to see, but it's, it's going on. I might have to turn it up a little bit. Yep, that might do it. We're getting there, look at that. Turn up a little bit more as I get a little more confident in what I'm doing here. I would get used to holding the trigger down like a spray can with this. But it, look how nice. It, 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 it just works. It's tiny, so I'm gonna show you how to clean it, which is uh, simple in and of itself too. Look at that. That's as good as I've done in my other airbrush. You can see me in it just about. Definitely, definitely a good airbrush. Um, all right, we'll let this dry. We'll let everything dry. Um, but right now, I'm going to take you back at the bench and I'm going to show you how I clean it out. All right, guys, here we are at the bench. I got my cleaning jar with some water in it. Here's the airbrush. And it was a lacquer, the uh, all clad. So I clean it with lacquer or acetone. So you're just going to put some in. You're going to blast it through here. And you want, what you want to do is you want to open it up more when you're cleaning it. Then I like to hold this over it not forcing it back but I like to kind of clean the needle this way um, if I'm going to do another color like I was doing just now I did I did all four of these in a row and you can also blast and you can see how dirty it is you know if you're going to go on to your next color if it's coming out clean you can just go into your next color unless you're going from an acrylic to a lacquer type of thing then you really want to thoroughly clean it out so with this one, it's just like, oops, I'm spilling it now. It's just like the other ones, my other uh, pro cons. What you do is, you're going to loosen this nozzle. Just a couple of turns, even just one turn. And that automatically, and I want to splash the... And that automatically cleans the cup. It does the reverse. You know, I'm trying to do it so you guys can see it and not hit the camera. That's it. See it bubbling up? And that's it. I like to put this over it because it bubbles up. Now that's just backwashing automatically without having to cover the front. Now you can also cover the front and do the same thing. But these are built to you just loosen it and it does it for you automatically. Then you, what I like to do is reverse it. Now I like to dump out what I have here because then I'm just blowing the dirty uh, 
lacquer thinner back through it again. Now you're going to go through it and you should be clean. You're going to take your rag, wipe her out, and whatever's on the rag, it's nice and uh, still wet from some lacquer thinner. You're going to just rub around. Uh, I've, I've had good luck with my uh, GSIs. None of this will come off. This is an anodized aluminum. It's all through the metal itself. It's not going to come off. This is not going to be stained. It's not chromed. And you're good. See how clean? Now, here's how you're going to clean the rest of it. You're going to unscrew the needle. Now, the needle, you ready for this, is attached to this. That's, the, that's your needle right there. And you can see it's pretty clean. It's got a little bit of the pink on it, which is probably from the, uh, the acrylic or the uh, mister right there. So what we do with that is you can just pour this right over the needle. See what I'm doing? You can put this and go over it. You can probably see that it's dirty a little bit. No, not too bad. Or you can use a cheap brush, which I like to use also, and just go like through it just to get it thoroughly wet and then just take your rag you were just using and come straight up don't go backwards we don't want to have any accidents here and there it is thoroughly clean and literally I, I'm it's taking me this long because I'm showing you guys um, it, it literally takes a minute it just takes a minute now you don't have to take the nozzle out every time maybe uh, once a month you want to clean it I like to do this with my brush over my jar Either this or acetone, it's, it, uh, neither one will harm the airbrush at all. Nice and clean, just like it was just out of the box. Now this nozzle is dirty. This gathers a lot of the paint. I like to get my uh, Q-tips, my two-sided, the pointy or the round, and just come in here and look how dirty that nozzle was. Can you see it? And I just like to get in there with that. And my other, oops. See, guys, it's tough to do this so close to the camera. There we go. And there you go the other one, the pointy end will pass you right through. The other nozzle I use is, is actually really tiny, and um, that fits perfect like a cone. And I, I clean it out every time in about 20 seconds. Look at that. Now this should be spotless, and it is. So put this on first before you put your needle back in because it acts as a protector for you. All right? This fits in through... The trigger is going to hold right down the center of it. It's pretty easy. It goes right in. And when you want to remove the needle and get another one, if you bend it, you can. Uh, it comes off here with an Allen screw. But uh, if you're careful, you shouldn't need it. And that's it. And so far, really good. We'll look at the results now when everything dries. Let me go put this back and um, clean everything up. And I'll bring over all the painted parts, and we'll go over them now. All right, guys, the conclusion here, uh, really good. This is impressive stuff, um, particularly if you're just doing, a, you know, big kits or you just want to do, like, the whole legs, you know, and without doing any detail work. There's really uh, no reason, reason to have a dual action to get into little details and stuff. Now, you're going to want one, you know, if you're going to be doing details and stuff, you should have one of each. But personally, if you're going to do a bunch of parts, uh Dial this in where you want it and just, you know, bang through those parts. I, I would really go with a, a good quality single action. Um, let's check the results. I pray, This is the one I started before I started filming uh, just now. Just to make sure I got the, the spray pattern down. And look at that. This is the Mecca Color Metallic Red. And this is the piece we did on camera. Look at that. Look at the detail it left. It left... It went on fine. It didn't go on in globs. You know, this is, uh, I did this so you could see an ex, you know, a wide spraying of it. But uh, look at that. That is just like my other, you know, $125 airbrush. I think this one was 70 So almost half the price of my other one. Look at that. All right, let's go with the Gundam colors. For builders, this is Trans Am Highlight Red. Check this out. Look at the shine. And again, I left all the details. It's on there really durable. I've been scratching it for the... It doesn't scratch at all. I baked this for 20 minutes. I call it bake it in the uh, dehydrator. And this is it. All, of, all the pieces at the same time. Look at that. How even and nice is that? 
Really, really impressive. This is nice and smooth. Right? You can really put a nice panel line in there like it was nothing, you know? <clears throat> Let's do this uh, spirit of the moment. Spirit of the moment. Let's try and do a quick panel line. All right. Let's see. I'll do right in the middle here. Yeah. Look at it flowing in. All right. Put that back. All right, let me wipe it quick. Probably even use my finger if I wanted. Yeah, let's get my finger. Look at that. Instant panel line. Look at that, guys. Flowed right through. Probably do good just put the clear over it, too, with the same airbrush. So there you go. We did a panel line right there in real time. All right, we, this is the Mr. Finishing Surfacer, 1500 gray. Look at that. I mean, this, the kit was white. I should have went with a black kit so you could really could see it. But perfect. It went on nice and fine. I mean, this this is a really cruddy kit. This is a limber, barely any detail at all. So, I mean, uh, you can still see the details through it. Just that the kit itself doesn't have many details. Just want to see how well it put on primer. Obviously, with the first two, it's it's a good airbrush. There's no real question here anymore. It's just it's a good airbrush. This is really on there good. I'm, I'm rubbing it really hard. You know, you could probably sand it, but this is the fine, the 1500, the really fine uh, primer. And last but not least, our favorite here at the channel, all clad, uh, gold titanium over black. Look at that. Looks just like, <laughs> looks like my uh, top-notch airbrush. They, re they recommend a small needle with these, so, you know, I didn't, that's why I wanted to try it. I didn't know how it was going to work, and, you know, it, it was fine. What you do is you, 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 you come all the way in. You know, turning it to the right like this, and then you back off a little bit, and you're going to get that really fine spray. Just make sure you start off the piece and then come in. Both airbrushes, you should do that, but really on these, it really shoots out right away if anything stuck to the needle. But uh, check that out. Now this, I'm rubbing it on my shirt, buffing it out. This doesn't have that mega mirror, sh you know, shine that the chrome does. This is exactly how it should look. Really nice, huh? Really impressive how good the, the spray to that airbrush. So, um, conclusion is, uh, it's a must-own. I'm going to have one of these. I'm going to be using this quite often. I'm going to keep this one uh, for sure. Sometimes I sell stuff on eBay or send it back um, in trade when I'm testing something. But this one I, I bought for myself. And I, I knew I, I knew I would like it. I like the brand quite a bit. They haven't let me down, particularly on, on my airbrushes. And um, just got used to holding it, I guess. That's all. You, you know, I figured I'll go hold it like this. And uh, you get used to each airbrush as you're holding it. But um, it's light. Obviously, it's tiny. It's all aluminum. It's really uh, it's built really well. And I showed you how easy it was to clean. You know, you just pull the needle right back out. And uh, you can feel how solid it is if, if you had it you know, in your hands. But I like it. Uh, highly recommended. It comes in red, and it comes in this blue. I don't know why I just picked anything. I do. I'm, I do like blue, so I, I purposely I think I picked the blue. But uh, I'm gonna put the link below. It'll send you to where I got it. And um, once you get there, just type in uh, GSI Creos. That's how they go by. Or you could put Pro Con Boy, single action. Pro Con Boy. All right. There you go, guys. Um, highly recommend it. I love it. And uh, I would grab one. If you're going to use it as Mike, I, I am with the, I have a lot of larger kits here. And I know these smaller guns are not going to uh, do well with them. And uh, it's either my five or now this four I'm going to be using for particularly uh, in our airbrush, in our primer test that I'm working on and uh, some of my larger kits so that's it I like it thumbs up baby and coming up soon will be the chroma air test and the black 3.0 I'm going to try and do the rest these two before the end of the week if not towards the end of the week and then over the weekend in no particular order so do me a favor like the video subscribe if you haven't already and put on the notifications so you can know when all these other tests are coming up I'm trying to do two a week because I have a lot more to go and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Have a great day, guys.